So guys, in today's video I thought we can have a nice chat about perfume trends for 2022 and talk about which notes are going to be popular and which perfumes we can expect this upcoming year. So make sure to keep on watching to find out more about that. But before we get started, I would like to ask those of you who are here for the first time and love perfumes definitely to subscribe to my channel and give it a huge thumbs up because all of that really helps it to grow. And once you're done with that, we can dive right into it. Hello and welcome everyone to another video in which I really want to talk to you about some popular notes and perfumes uh, that are coming up in 2022 and without any further ado let's jump right into it and I wanted to start with already trendy note in 2022 which is the rose queen of all flowers and it is crucial for perfumery it is in many different fragrances and uh, rose is so multifaceted it comes from different places all over the world such as Egypt Morocco grass and it grows everywhere and you can really manipulate it and there are so many rose perfumes that uh, just don't go out of style so make sure to let me know if you like rose as a note or as a flower and uh, if you have a favorite fragrance with it please comment down below and if you don't like it then let me know what is it about the rose that doesn't appeal to you I'm definitely a big fan of it I have a lot of fragrances in my collection with the note of rose and I'm looking forward to many of these releases especially for Tom Ford's rose trio as I call it because it consists out of three fragrances and they're all centered on the note of rose they're built on it but um, they are gonna smell differently because I feel like um, they will go in very different directions. So for example, there is this perfume Rose d'Amalfi, which is gonna be fresh. There is the fragrance Rose de Chine, which I think is gonna be more floral. And there is Rose de Rossi that I think will have more of uh, leathery vibe so I don't know why exactly they decided to launch rose perfumes because Tom Ford already has a few rose dominant fragrances in their collection but probably they sensed that a rose is gonna be on trend in 2022 and that's why they created this little collection that looks really really pretty and I know that it will appear in Germany around March so in case you would like me to review them make sure to let me know that but I have already smelled a few new rose fragrances such as this O Rose Eau de Parfum by Diptyque and I gotta be honest with you I like it a lot so I got this little cute little tester which is so pretty and the fragrance itself is rich it smells niche this is a very rose heavy scent because we have damask rose we have a rose from grass in here but there is a little bit of a spice fruitiness in the opening and then there is the note of artichoke with chamomile so also a little bit of the green edge is present but at the same time it smells perfumey and it smells really 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 good very expensive so far I'm really satisfied with it and highly recommend you to check it out especially if you already like Eau de Toilette version of this perfume I think that this one is just richer and deeper and uh, yeah it smells great just very pleasant to wear it you know I think playing with a sample just spraying it on at night and it is beautiful I don't really have a fragrance quite like it in my collection because I have a lot of these powerful rose oods rose patchouli's and we have a lot of those and this one I feel like is more elegant and refined if you will so far I'm really really liking it but there is another one that I've already smelled from Burrito and it is called Young Rose so this fragrance actually reminds me of a few perfumes one one of which is discontinued Sarah rosy blush or something like that and that's because that one also featured rose with umbrette musk so it has this very powdery rosy vibe and there is the spiciness present there is a little bit of um, berry element in there but in the dry down it turns really musky hot and um, a little bit annoying, a little bit like um, bitey on me personally. There is the note that I don't like in perfumes. This is one of only few notes that I cannot tolerate. And to give you an example of the fragrance that it reminds me of, it would be definitely this one from Tom Ford, um, Rose Freak. It is um, a very, very lovely fragrance because it looks pretty, but there is also citron pepper in here with rose, so probably that's why 
I smell the similarity in there. I would say that Young Rose is nicer because this one has more of this sweet muskiness that I cannot describe and I'm not the biggest fan of it. I bought it back then because of the bottle and this is definitely not the right reason to purchase an expensive perfume but this is like a collector piece for me personally and Young Rose can be compared to it but for me personally it's more enjoyable especially in the opening but with that being said let's move on from niche to designer rose perfumes that is already available on the market that I've already smelled and that I already can recommend because it is absolutely stunning released from Narcissa Rodriguez and it is called um, Mask Noir Rose Edition. So besides the rose there is plum, there is pink pepper, there is bergamot, of course there is their signature mask, a little bit of tuberose and vanilla but I picked up a lot of like dark floral musk and it smells absolutely amazingly. This is one of the best fragrances I smelled this year. In my opinion, this is a stunning release, sort of like a rose flanker. And now I'm wondering what are gonna do other designer brands that have already released their rose flankers for most successful fragrances years before that. Probably they were too quickly, because now I feel like everyone will come up, if not with a new rose release, then with a rose flanker of uh, the already existing existing fragrance. Let me know if you have a similar feeling or not. But now let's move on to indie world because there are some rose launches as well. For example, from my favorite brand DSH Perfumes. I haven't smelled Dawn's new fragrances in the longest time ever. I miss them a lot, but I just cannot afford um, ordering from the States. Plus, uh, you know, I cannot even afford fragrances that are on my wish list that I need for videos and stuff. So just in case you would like to support me and my channel and you would like um, me to keep up, then you can donate on my MiCoffee website. I always tell you that, especially if you're not aware of that uh, option. I will leave a link to that website down below in the commentary section. But anyway, I am dying to smell Dawn's roses. There is Halfetti Rose, there is a Rose Water, and there is um, Countless Oleska, which is sort of like a yellow rose. So just as in nature, there are so many different varieties of roses, and I feel like you just can never get a bored of them, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, what I am personally not the biggest fan of is when brands just um, re packaging, repackage their perfumes. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Well, there is the brand Jumalon that um, put their existing rose perfumes, for example, Velvet Rose and Oud, in a new bottle. And I've already seen them in the store. They look really, really pretty. If you love Jo Malone, if you love their rose perfumes, and if you are looking for a new bottle with an old fragrance, then they have a few ones. But the one I would love to smell, I don't think it's gonna happen for me. So just in case you are already familiar with actually a rose flanker of La Petite Robe, from Guerlain, then please let me know how it smells because the notes in Rose 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 Flanker and I find it so funny that they cannot even, you know, think of cool names but they are like Rose Rose Rose. So apparently this is going to be a very rosy and besides that note there is actually bergamot, there are some other berry notes, there is black um, cherry and uh, vanilla, tonka, iris and uh, even anise in the base, but there is one note that will lead us to another popular note that I think is going to be big this year and I have high hopes for it, but with that being said, I would like you to share your feedback on this fragrance just in case you've already smelled it, maybe you're from France, probably there you will get it. We haven't received uh, flankers of this particular fragrance in Germany in the longest time ever, so I don't have high hopes for this one, although I feel like my intuition tells me it's gonna be good. But with that being said, another rose fragrance this time from a niche brand is Memoir de Roses and it is from La Tizan Parfumeur. It doesn't seem to be like a complicated fragrance. I think that roses in here are gonna be fresh and citrusy because there is mandarin, there is bergamot and musk with rose, so 
I won't even blind buy it. I think it's gonna be lovely, but nothing more. Truly in their French classy style. But with that being said, as I've already mentioned, there is gonna be another note that I think is gonna be like big that more brands will release fragrances with it, and it is almond and almond is great for those who love powdery perfumes because this is a very powdery note and i am the biggest fan of powdery fragrances as you know these are my favorites and um, i find almond is actually quite interesting because it can be really really powdery like almost makeup yet at the same time it can be like almond milk so it can go towards gourmand and you can really manipulate it and push on it and create very lovely fragrances with this note so i hope that there are going to be a lot of almond fragrances in 2022 but there are already some that have been launched for example the new one for armani privé collection and it looks very pretty in this gorgeous purple bottle indigo tanzanite i've already smelled on the blotter and it is delicious there is hila shrub there is milk there is benzoin patchouli so it is really rich and like thick gourmand and i love it and also almond we have in that rose 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 Sorry, I just need to say it like that from uh, La Petite Robe by Guerlain. There is actually the note of almond. So here we go. There is another one. But um, I am so excited. Like I, when I saw the bottle of um, the new fragrance by Trussardi, Le Vie de Milano, the paintings of Palazzo Reale. Sorry for my Italian but you guys like I find this is a fantastic collection I got sent a discovery set of the existing fragrances last year and I was amazed by the quality by how niche and how deep and rich everything smells and there are some new launches that are coming up and this specific one it features another note that I don't think it's gonna be huge in 2022 like rose and almond but maybe the note of um not crepe uh what's what's the name <laughs> but the note of dates might actually be quite like upcoming trend because there is already this um, Chloe Nomade Eau de Parfum Naturel, which is just a phenomenal new gourmand from a designer brand with a note of dates. And in this one from Tussardi, we also have it along um, as a plum and there is citron pepper. Maybe this is gonna be like a new spice that will replace popular saffron. We'll see. There are some balms and there are some um, delicious notes like cardamom like honey like this uh, almond milk and also patchouli with vanilla so i don't know if i'll be able to smell it because this collection is not available in the local shop of mine but i will keep an eye open on it but anyway let's move on to another fragrance that i think will actually get in germany because this is the flanker of kinzos flower and it's called poppy bouquet eau de toilette and there are two perfumers behind it which is alberto marias and with him it's like a hit or miss for me and another one that i don't have much experience with her work which is dora bug rich and uh, this fragrance also features a note of green almonds, some flowers, some tea, so I don't know if it's going to be even noticeable in there or not, but at least it is listened in the notes. And with that being said, that was all for the almonds. Maybe I missed something. You let me know in case you know an upcoming or already launched new fragrance with almond or, or, or almond milk or almond powder you let me know because this is definitely in my top favorite notes and i i'm always really excited for fragrances with it i have a few in my collection i have a top list dedicated to it and many videos dedicated to rose fragrances i will leave links to them down below just in case you happen to like them but with that being said i also wanted to talk to you about just fragrance styles that i think um brands are gonna focus on in 2022 so one of them is definitely 
floral. I think more fresh flowers will appear. I think that um, roses are going to be very different, but besides roses, there are going to be just more floral perfumes, maybe even for men, we'll see. But I think that there are also going to be more fresh releases, you know, like green, marine, ozonic, like more freshies. We'll see on that. There are already a few fragrances that have been launched, like one from Mason Margiela, and we'll see what other brands will surprise us with. But with that being said, the final thing I wanted to talk about is actually which notes I would like, you know, brands just like let go. And those would be definitely, you know, um, the ones that smell too fruity, like I am done with the pear, I don't want to see much of jasmine anymore. I think like maybe if they love white flowers, they could focus on gardenia, which is not that popular at all. Or maybe if they like fruits, they can play with an apple, which I've already seen a few brands doing, like Kayali, for example. So there are just a few notes that I feel like we are already bored with, that we have enough of. Let me know if there is a note that you would like, you know, just to rest for a moment. But with that being said, that was all for me today. It was just like a relaxed, chatty video about some upcoming trends, about something that's already trending at the moment. And I wanted to hear from you which kind of notes you would like to see more in perfumes. Which ones do you miss? Which ones do you think are underrated? Please let me know. And on that note, if there is anything else you would like to know, I would be happy to help you out. Just drop me a comment. Your feedback is highly appreciated. Please don't be shy. Please be active in the commentary section. I saw that I have a lot of new subscribers, so go ahead and um, just start a conversation and I would love to chat with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. You guys, activate the bell because then you will actually get notifications when I post new ones so you don't miss them. And uh, of course, if you would like to support my channel, your donation on Buy Me Coffee website is so appreciated these days like um, never before. And that was all from me today. If there is a video, review or a topic you would like me to talk about, then please, please tell me what it is, because I really want to make relevant content, if you know what I'm talking about. And with that being said, make sure to stay tuned, smell good, and if you would like to stay in touch, then you can follow me on my social media. All the helpful links are below, also discounts with which, with which you can save uh, money purchasing your fragrances. I always point that out maybe to the people who are new here and don't know about that information. And if you've already heard me saying that 100 times, then I'm sorry, but thank you so much for being with me and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys.